Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today we're starting a new series called $10 Meals. I can't think of a more creative name, but if you have one for me, please let me know. But basically, this is going to be a sort of sporadic series that will happen every now and then, where I share a recipe with you all that is $10 or less to make, excluding very basic kitchen staple items like salt, pepper, and this specific recipe, olive oil and or flour. So. I break down the cost of everything in my blog post, so check that out. And also if you needed to buy the salt, pepper, and flour. And yeah, I hope you guys are excited about this recipe. It is pizza con patate or potato pizza. Delicious, it has a creamy sauce on the bottom filled with spinach for some nice micronutrients and the potatoes, and it is so filling and so satisfying. And basically the rules for this is that I wanted each meal to cost $10 or less to buy the ingredients and have four or more servings. In this case, you will get four servings from this pizza and you will have leftover ingredients. And in the blog post, I also tell you what to do with those leftovers. So check out the description box for the recipe and for the blog post. And I hope you guys are excited about this series. If you are, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, interact with the video. And with all that being said, let's go make some pizza. All right, we're just gonna run through all the ingredients and the pricing real quick. I do just wanna say I bought everything at Trader Joe's. And of course, prices may vary based on where you live, based on what food store you shop in, but this was the cost of everything. And then you will also just need the salt, pepper, and either olive oil and or flour. Okay, so we're gonna start by taking our spinach and you're not using all the bag. You're just gonna use like a little less than half and we're going to chop it up nice and small, as small as you can, you know. We're gonna put this on the bottom of our pizza and like also mix a little bit with our sauce, you'll see in a second, but just chop it up and easy. Okay, then we're gonna take half of a head of garlic and I hate when it has those little cloves in it, do you know what I mean? Like, they're like one clove, it looks like a big clove and then it's all these little cloves, it just bothers me. So I'm going to take about half of the head of garlic and I'm going to peel off the skins and slice them up which is the most tedious task in the world it really is but also garlic is amazing so like we have to have the trade-off right so just chop it up as finely as you can and then we're going to start by making our sauce so i'm taking my vegan cream cheese i'm mixing it with some water and i'm going to microwave it for like 30 seconds to just start getting that vegan cream cheese to melt down and then keep adding in a little water as you need to and then kind of microwave it again just so it gets like really nice and smooth then we're going to add in that garlic and we're going to add in some lemon juice that juice of half of a lemon and we're going to add in about half of our spinach I didn't want it to like overwhelm the sauce even though we all spread it out later on pizza I don't know I was like nervous about adding all the spinach in there don't ask me why and then here you'll add a little salt and pepper to taste if you like and you can actually taste this because everything's cooked so feel free to give it a little taste now you're going to take a sharp knife and we are going to thinly 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 slice our potatoes I cannot stress how thinly you need to slice them if you have a mandolin and you like to use a mandolin you can use one but otherwise you can get this done with a knife and I just separated like the ones that didn't come out in full circles and the ones that did just for my own organization of things okay so now I'm taking my pizza dough and I want you to know that I did try it first to just spread the pizza dough out with like water on my hand and like parchment paper, it didn't work. You're gonna need olive oil or you're gonna need flour. One or the other, it doesn't matter. Or really, honestly, you could just use any oil, but that's what you need. Then I used a rolling pin. You can use a glass, a bottle, or you can spread it out with your hands. It's whatever you need. So I'm adding a little oil on top. I had like reworked the dough like three or four times at this point, so it was a little overworked and I definitely needed the help of the rolling pin. So put it, spread it out into a pan, any kind of pan that you want. I just have these pizza pans because obviously I'm a food blogger, but use any pans that you have that you like and just spread it out nice and thin. And then I like to make like a little crust. So I just kind of worked it into a circle and then folded it over to make my little crusty shape. So from there, we're gonna just pop this in the oven for like a few minutes just to get the crust to start cooking and get the process going. So just like five minutes. And then I'm always paranoid that things are sticking, so I just lifted it up with a spatula. So now you're gonna add your spinach on the bottom, like that leftover spinach, but I did save a little bit for garnish because you know me, I love a garnish. So spread your sauce out now onto the rest of the crust and so delicious this is so good you can just eat on its own like a spinach dip and then you're gonna layer the potatoes and i layered them up like as beautifully as i could that's like the magic of a potato pizza because you have this beautiful like arrangement of potatoes and that's where you can like sneak in your little half slices just a little more olive oil on top if you're using olive oil if not not a big deal and i also add a little bit of salt and pepper on top this is going back in the oven to bake for like 25 ish minutes and when it comes out it'll be golden and beautiful the way you'll know it's really done 
on is that you want to make sure those potatoes are cooked if you are struggling or you feel like your potatoes aren't going to be cooked you can parboil them really quickly after you slice them and that's it now you have this delicious beautiful pizza that was made for less than ten dollars and it is so yummy and so much better than ordering from a pizzeria i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you soon with another video bye